like to welcome you to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan joining me, Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and courtside Doris Burke. Now the starting group for the visitors. the left block and the ball goes out of play and able to keep it in so it's the visitors now number three the shot from the low post is good. And he's on the board early. The first to strike there. Nice hoop. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Here's Hoffman, a stupendous finish in traffic. And that kind of power move has become a trademark for him. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And that one misses. On the break, number 18. That's good. Number 29. It's the layup of the impressive drop step. I'm sure they'd like to get more shots like that one. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. The number one bullet point on their scouting board tonight was defense. Coach said, we want to muck this up. We don't want to get into a scoring contest with them. We want them to fear trying to put up points on us. A tall order, and it could possibly get chippy out there, guys. Thank you very much, Doris. The defensive strategy guys being heavily enforced by the coaching staff. And that's in large part because of the talent they have on that side of the ball. A lot of length, speed, quick hands. They've got a lot of ability on that side of the floor. Well, when you've got the horses, you've got to ride them and let them run. And defensively, they've definitely got some horses. Number five. Hits from the high post. Four straight makes out of the gate. That's a sweet start. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Inside. Here's Hoffman. The baseline jumper goes down. He's got six. They're coming out strong, guys. That's four for five from the field. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. From 18 feet away, kept alive, number six. A strong effort on the rebound nets the second chance points. Well, you're not going to get a more high quality look than that. Terrific offensive rebound there. Tipped. Pushing it up. Cut the bucket. Beautiful finesse move right there. I mean, you've got to love that finger roll finish gone four or five from the field so far 
Here's Hoffman. Lays it in off the expert drop step. You know, Kevin, they were a step late on their defensive rotation, and that helped them get right to the rim. Number 18. Got it from 16 feet. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And there's the turnover. Pass going out of bounds. That is not a difficult pass. You'd think they could keep it in bounds. We've gone seven and eight from the field to start the game. Very hot shooting. Number three. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. He's got seven. Boy, a fast start here. Their offense has been very impressive. Yeah, they're making their own luck, Clark. Really playing with a purpose offensively. And that one's good. Great move to get to the bucket and lay that one in. He's got the softest touch around the basket. Impressive. The away team will take. Gone an incredible eight of nine from the field. Makes the lead pass. Number 14. That's good. Gotten six or seven shots to fall in the first quarter. They're off and running. Baseline try. That's good. He's got 12. So it's the visitors now, leading by five. Number 18 misses the wing jelly. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. A leaner, and he hits the jump shot. Both sides really coming out of the gate firing here. Guys, they look like they were raring to go in this one. A lot of offense early on. Well, his aggressiveness is getting the best of him here early on. That's two fouls already. Number five. They grabbed their own miss. Number 26. There's the bucket. Good. Wow. That's three in the first quarter. And I think if you're the coach, you've got to think about sitting him down. to five on the shot clock. Number three. And the defense really pressing up on it. Made that a tough shot. A minute 50 left in the first quarter. Number 29. That's good. They can't seem to stop anybody inside. They got to know that if they don't make life tougher in the paint, the opponent is just going to keep going there. I mean, it's not like they'll get tired of all these in-close opportunities. To end the drought. That's good. The home team will take their first timeout of the game. 
But he looks like he wants to toy around with some of their sets and matchups here. You know, I don't think you can afford to go through a whole game doing the same thing over and over, and you have to be able to adjust on the fly, just like he's doing here. So both teams making some changes here. One twenty-five left to play in the first quarter. Number 30. And his first shot of the game, no good. Would have been lucky to knock that shot down. Yeah, that kind of shot will definitely get you the higher brows from the coach and maybe get you a seat on the bench, too. Yeah, not just an everyday finish. He put a little pizzazz on that one, guys. Number 23, covered by Martin. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. First one falls for him. And so he makes both from the line. 52 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Robbins. Drains it from 17 feet out. You know, typically he's just a role player, but when he does score, it allows the offense to be more balanced. Here's Hoffman. The 10 footer finds the target. He's got 18. The defense playing way too soft there, guys. He's just getting right to the rim. Shot and game clock separated by five. Offline from the high post. Number 29. It's the layup of the impressive drop step. Boy, they are really getting chewed up inside here. I mean, that's eight of the last ten points they've given up. Inside, in the paint. Yeah, and the paint should be sacred ground for a defense. I mean, you can't let anybody just trot in there and get an easy bucket. There's ten seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Number five. Off target with the open look. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. The home team leading by a point. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Solid first quarter for this club. They came out strong and... They've put together some nice momentum here. Steve, I like the looks they've gotten on offense. A lot of good ones. Doing it as well as you're going to see. 67%. Shot clock at six. Number 12. Sinks that one from the post. Number 31. Connects the jumper drops. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, but neither team really able to jump ahead. Yeah, five times already the lead has changed. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brooks. Doris, over to you. Well, Byron 
Kevin Mullins back in high school did basketball clinics with youngsters in juvenile hall to try and help them out. He's continued that good work in recent off-seasons playing against inmates at a prison in Ohio. Mullins said, I know people have their own opinion that if you're in prison, they shouldn't really get that freedom. But they're doing the time for what they did. I could be anywhere else, but I'll be in here playing. Basketball is basketball. Kevin? Nice stuff, Doris. Thank you. Number 12. No good on the three. Got a nice 3 3 to start the second. Poke loose. And here comes the break. Ball going up court. Good on the shot. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. to the middle. Bunny shot. That's good. He's got eight. Well, that makes five of their last six makes coming from inside. Yeah, really focused on getting the ball into the paint because they're taking advantage of very porous defense down there. Number 14. And he drops it in from the low post. And defensively, you've got to try to keep the ball on the perimeter. Yeah, he's not going to miss those, not often anyway. The defense has to muscle up and deny him that position to have a chance. Number 27. High on the he looked, and he sinks it. Oh, a nice little trend developing here, fellas. I mean, that's eight of their last ten from inside the paint. Yeah, they're getting high percentage looks down there. Their offense is really clicking. I don't see why they would just continue to pound the ball inside. Uncovered. The shot no good. You really don't want to see him missing those mid-range shots, but when he's open, he's got to shoot it. Puts up a three. Gets the bucket. Oh, they on a tear. You know what, Steven, offensively, you sometimes don't know how or why it happens, but you just ride the wave as long as it's flowing. The away team will take a timeout here. Several teams changing it up here. Just over three and a half minutes play here in the second quarter. And the pass to Martin. Good. Well, the D just letting them go inside with impunity. Way, way too easy. That's 10 of their last 12 points now in the paint area. Three-pointer. No good. Gone four of six in the field here in the second. To the inside. And it's good. Martin's got six. Something has to change, guys. That's ten straight points coming in the paint against this team. Well, they got to collapse in there, and everybody's got to be conscious of it. It's a team effort in protecting the paint. Control the ball, and then everybody's got to get in there and keep the defense locked down. You love for any trip down the floor to end with a shot like that. That foul is really going to hurt him in the second half. I mean, he's got to sit, and they have to be on the off the floor for a long time, and they'll miss everything he brings to their team. I mean, he's active, he's aggressive, he's smart, he's tough. I mean, they're going to miss his presence significantly. And that one's good. Martin's got six here in this quarter. gotten nearly everything to fall for them here in the second quarter. They're a great 7 of 8 from the fourth.
There's the steal. Top of the key. The shot is off. Gone one or two on three corners here in the second quarter so far. Number 23. And that one's good. Gone six and nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Floats a runner. Just five to shoot. Here's Martin. Number 14. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. He's got eight. The home team call time. But he looks like he wants to toy around with some of his sets and matchups here. You know, I don't think you can afford to go through a whole game doing the same thing over and over, and you have to be able to adjust on the fly, just like he's doing here. Gone 8 of 9 in the second quarter. Very nearly perfect from the field. There's a minute 34 left in the second quarter. Number 29. Gets it to go. Gotta love the finger roll up and over the defense. 122 left to play in the first half. Six on the shot clock. From beyond the arc, shot is off. To the paint. Pick off in midair. Here's the break. Up the floor. Number six. Gets it to go. He has six. Gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. 36 seconds left now here in the second. And that one's good. The visitors with the ball. Number 14. He's off from 17 feet. Tries to save it. Gets it to go. Looks like they found the soft spot in the defense there. Number three. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And we finished one half of basketball. The home team. They're up by eight. The Jazz. Well, folks, stick around here at halftime for the halftime show with Damon Bruce for all the highlights from our first half. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Saturday, the best day of the week. Let's make it even a little bit better with a halftime show. At the midway point, the home team is playing very well. A dominating performance offensively. They're getting everything they want. And slugging it out so far are the visitors. They've done a great job closing out their defensive possessions, grabbing boards, great rebounding. Thanks so much for joining me here in studio. Second half action is coming right up. We hope you enjoy the rest of the game. Welcome back. A beautiful night here in Miami, Florida as we continue.
Goes up to the strike. Can't get it to go. And yes, sir, that one drops. He's got 20. Well, another hoop there. They're playing well. Looking to add to this cushion, and, and that's just what they've done, I think. All sorts of time. And he connects with the jumper. Six points for him. That's a nice play there. The more contributors this team can get, the better. Down low. Here's Hoffman. Good. Oh, carving him up inside there, Kevin. I mean, the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good offense. Number 14. Off target from the baseline. Well, they've built a big lead here so far, and a lot of it has to do with how well they've been rebounding. Yeah, every time they make a stop, they're securing the rebound, and, and that's really allowed them to get out to this lead. One shot. One of three since starting the second half. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Number three. Hands a space there, but it's offline. Just one make and four tries here to start the second half. Number 26. Gets it to go. Now, the offensive efficiency has been really important. I think that's been the difference. Well, you know, I think it's pretty simplistic, but it does oftentimes come down to this making shots, and that's what they've done. The away team take a full timeout. Well, he's got to be disappointed with his team's play over the course of this run, and, uh, you know, thus the timeout. you got to talk things over, try to get back into the game. Something has to change for them is they haven't looked good at all during Boy, it's been a tough go in terms of fouls for him. I mean, my goodness, he can't stay out of the way of fouls. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Like at six. They need this. He's just got to compose himself, gather himself. He may be trying a little too hard out there. Let it flow. Let it happen. Don't force it. All alone. And the shot is good. He's got six. They're rolling now. Five straight hoops to start this quarter. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Number five. Nice teamwork to set up the pick play and make the space for the J. And this team really dialed in from that mid-range area. Seems like every hoop they get, Steve, is a step or two in from the three-point line. I mean, you got to take what the other team is giving you, and they're certainly doing that. Again, they attack the hoop from the lane, and it's been really good to them. Yeah, they're getting whatever they want down there. That's four of their last five buckets coming in the paint area. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. Going to spot us. Six of six from the field. Since taking the court here in the second half. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Can't cash in from the high post. Well, as far as jump shots go, that's as high percentage as it gets. I'm not sure how that didn't go down. Deflects the pass. 
from down in the low post goes. Eight points for him. The home team will take a timeout. And both teams will make substitutions. And so here's the home team. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Number 21, covered by Mark. The jumper from the free throw line is good. Gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Number 15. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll get him two chances at the free throw line here. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. This is his first chance at the line tonight. That free throw missing. And he's good on the second. And a big change we saw last season was an adjustment to what's known as the rip-through call. That's where a player with the ball sees the defender's arms out and kind of goes up right through the arms and draws the foul. And the league ruled that it would still be a foul, but it would be called on the ground depending on where the player was and where the defender was. But they're not going to give the benefit of the doubt as much to the shooter. And the shot is good. A troubling 38% in the third. Not the finest work of this offense. And that one's good. Nine points in the game so far. The rip through rule change, Steve. Some bets who like to trick rookies might miss it, but it seems like it's the right direction. Well, it's, I don't think it's a great basketball play. So I think it was a smart move by the league to, to cut back on that play. You still call the foul, but you don't give the guy the two free throws. Uh, to me, it made perfect sense. And the first one drops. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. in the third quarter. That is 90% from the field. What a roll they're on. Here's Hoffman. Gets it to go. He has 29. Got such a good feel for his shot today in a really good groove. Number five. Can't get it to go. They're enjoying, Steve, a commanding lead. Well, and it gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest, which is so critical during this grueling NBA season. That is good. Nine points in the game so far. Number 14. That one goes. Come. What a play. The hoop plus the harm. Excellent concentration on the finish. That's big time. 
And he's got his first chance at the line here. Both teams deciding to change it up. On the free throw, no good. Number 18, and that is good. That's four straight field goals coming inside the paint. Boy, they're taking it right to him, Steve, and the defense has really been way too passive for my life. Number 26, the leaner falls for him. That was a difficult shot. Ten points for him. Great shot. I mean, so difficult to get your shot online when you're off balance like that. Number five. And good on the basket. Book it. Now they'll take as many of those high percentage shots as they can get, guys. Gone 5 of 11 from the field. Number 26. Sinks the three-pointer. Number 26. 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Gets the bucket. Ten points for him. They are in attack mode right now. That's ten straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And, Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. They don't offer resistance. Take everything you can get in there. And the layup is good. 20 seconds left to play in the third. First free throw is good, so it's both teams making substitutions here. He doesn't get the second one. Boy, they've been all over the glass. Big advantage in the rebound totals. Yeah, that's really carried them in this one, guys. I mean, those one and dones have really set a nice tone and let them establish this lead. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. The home team... Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up, and we're going to send it over to Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game segment. Doris? Hey, guys. The home team tonight picks up the Uncontainable Game Award. It was in the third quarter when things started falling their way, and they were able to build this lead. No doubt they'll try to keep that momentum going through the end. All right, Doris. Thanks. And the run Doris mentioned, guys, that was really a huge game changer here. No question, Kevin. Probably the pivotal moment in the game so far, and I thought that really set the tone. You know, one of the things that was interesting to me is you could see the body language of both teams change at that point. Um, obviously in different directions, confident and assured on one side and a bit of chin in your chest on the other side. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. Goes up on the wing. Good on the jump shot. 19 points in the game. Thing has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Inside. Here's Robbins. Misses the lane. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through track. To the middle. Ball stolen. And they're moving it up. Here's Martin. And that one's good. Costly mistake at the other end to set up that fast break. That's what you want to do after the turnover. Push the ball up the floor and strike quickly. 
Number 26. That's good. Well, one thing that's been around in other sports but really didn't have a home in the NBA until the last CBA was contract renegotiation. Now, that is something that both players and GMs will have to consider each year. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. That's good. And going back to contract negotiation, Steve, a lot of times a player can change due to age or injury, and teams can benefit that way. And on the flip side of that, I mean, if you're a, a young player and you blossom into a star, you know, maybe you have an opt-out clause. You don't have to sit back and play out that contract so you can get out of your deal and then uh, renegotiate a, a longer-term contract. Number three. He's off from 17 feet. Gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Number 28. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Heard the whistle and still kept his focus. Able to knock that down. And that is not easy, Steve. I mean, to take the bump, to maintain control of your body, and put it in the hole. Tremendous play. That's amazing. They have yet to miss a free throw this half. And as calm and collected as they look up there, I'm not sure they will, they'll ever miss one the rest of the way. Well, last season with the condensed schedule, we saw a lot of college players choose to return to college to avoid the uncertainty. For those who came out, in some ways it was an advantage. They often saw more playing time as coaches looked down their benches because of the condensed schedule. So it's the visitors now. Number eight. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. And you mentioned the valuable playing time for the rookies, Clark. Also, don't forget a lot of journeyman, Steve. Journeyman veteran players took deals abroad. Yeah, that's exactly right. Guys went to Europe or China and then did not return for the NBA season. So that did open up some minutes for some younger players. And it was fun to watch. We saw some guys have... A Real impact on the league in their first years. Guys like Irving and Rubio and Fareed, Kawhi Leonard in San Antonio, even Isaiah Thomas, the last pick of the draft. He made a big impact in Sacramento. Six to shoot. From 12 feet out, no luck. Gotten every shot they've taken so far in the fourth quarter to go in. That's five in a row to start the quarter. Number 30. Misses, and he wants that one back. Gone 4-7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Well, one of the rule changes that the league has implemented recently, one of the major issues was small market team owners feeling like they couldn't compete financially. They pushed for a harder cap, and it seems like the new rules are already reining in the big spending teams a little bit. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Oh, yes, the turnaround. The ball really well in this game, 58%. And going back to the CBA as a jump to help smaller market teams, Steve, revenue sharing uh, was also increased, which has been very beneficial. Yeah, the total amount was actually quadrupled, which will play out over the course of the CBA. So the smaller market teams will get more help. And uh, as the CBA goes on, the bigger market teams will be penalized more and more uh, for, for exceeding that tax uh, threshold. So it's going to be really interesting to, to watch it all unfold over the next few years.
gotten it done so far from the field here in the fourth. Going six for seven. Number 29. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And his specialty is tracking down those great offensive rebounds that oftentimes he can put right back up for an easy deuce. Steve, he is always on the prop. I mean, you got to body him up early or he'll stake out that prime real estate for those second shot opportunities. And he knocks down the first one. You know, you hear all this talk about up years and down years in the NBA drafts, but you never really know. I mean, the 2011 class was supposed to be down, but it produced quite a few impact stars. Uh, to name one, Kyrie Irving, uh, who should be an all-star for many years to come. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And, you know, Steve, we talked about the amount of time that needs to pass before you can really see a draft class and how you want to rank it. If it was successful or not, you just never know. Yeah, you know, Kevin, it's funny. You see people write these uh, draft grades the next day after the draft happens. How can you grade something when you haven't even seen players play? But it really does take a couple of years to figure out, you know, who's good, who's a bust, all that kind of stuff. Uh, players need to prove it out on the court, and they need time to develop. Now, here is Martin. To the paint. That's good. Gotten seven of their eight shots to fall here in the fourth. A tremendous offensive output. Number seven. Covered by Martin. Good. I like the way they got the ball inside there. Drawn 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. Number 23. Number 20. Well, guys, you know, we've seen some pretty horrific injuries as a result of players being fouled while suspended in the air. And, you know, a lot of the game does happen off the floor. And the NBA took some strides to try to make it safer for players last season with the rule changes. So if you're in a vulnerable position on your way to the basket and you get fouled, pretty good chance it will be deemed a flagrant one. Hits the bucket. So it's the visitors now. Right side, Martin. Good! Steve, you go back to protecting players in the air. So many players now can jump so high. The game is played in so many ways above the rim. This just seems like the best move for everyone. Well, anything that is involved with player safety, I'm all for. And uh, so if that means calling more flagrant fouls and keeping guys from injuring each other in midair, then that's a good thing. And that should do it. This is an insurmountable lead. Yep, there's too little time left, too big a deficit to overcome. This one's oh. Number 12. Can't hit from the elbow. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves that crisply all over the court. Yeah, it sure does, Clark. And look at the assist totals. They're piling up. I mean, this, is, this has been a, a nice game execution-wise for this club. Just five on the clock. Straight up. Sweet little floater. This team has to tighten up inside. Way too many easy hoops in the lane. Yep, that's five straight buckets they've given up from the key now, and it's it's hurting them. Now here is Martin. We've got 108 left in the fourth quarter. And the miss, not the best shot selection there. They have been really controlling this one. Well, now is not the time to get complacent, though, Kevin. You've got to continue to put your foot on the gas pedal. Number seven. Misses the chippy right there. Getting off to an 0-for-2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pulls it from the elbow. Can't get it to go. On 3 or 4 from long range in the game.
We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. And the shot is good. I think we can chalk this one up. The goal now is just to run some time. Yeah, I think it's time to get the bus started now, boys. He dishes it to Martin. Number 12. They get it back. Good win. And it's good. Terrific work on the offensive glass to make that one work. Puts up a prayer. And the miss. And so they get the victory here at home. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night. These guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. That about does it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long and thanks for watching. Now, here is our Jordan player of the game.